Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are on the globe. I'm Megan Aplon, bringing to you fur news by the minute, the fluff, the raw, and sometimes the rough. In this week's news, a couple saves a dog from the unthinkable in South Carolina. David Winkleman said he was in his driveway when he heard a distressed dog barking. He then found an abandoned pooch tightly tied to train tracks nearby. Mr Winkleman and his wife Jennifer rescued the pooch and helped him find safety with Operation Care. The couple lives next to Highway 221 in Innery, where the pup was stranded. Authorities and the Winklemans are asking for help in finding the human who left the fur baby at the tracks. Honestly, it's a horrible story and I hope they find the person who did it or the persons who did it because it's just unthinkable that one would do this to a defenseless pup. Let's stop. A pet food competition unleashes how more parents are feeding their fur babies. In the late spring, the Motley Crew held its healthy pet food recipe contest COVID-13. The goal was for dogs and cats to fetch their summer bodies. Around 80% of the participants from around the world entered raw food meals. They follow the BARF methodology. Now that's B-A-R-F, and it stands for Biologically Appropriate Raw Food. And bones and raw food. It consists of high protein, moderate fat, and little carbs. This includes muscle and organ meat, bones, veggies, and fruit and supplements. Studies show the benefits of a raw diet can be having cleaner teeth, more energy, and better skin and hair or fur. Meanwhile, some vets are concerned with the risk of bacterial infections with a raw menu. Now we are joined by fur correspondent, Sophie near Cleveland, Ohio. She has some thoughts on Bath. She would like to share with us, Sophie. Oh, well, aren't you fetching, Sophie? Oh yes, interesting. So you did try the Bath diet, did you? You like the crunch? Oh, nice. It was different. Yeah, you felt a bit primal eating it, I understand. Okay. Well, was your coat better? Yeah, or oh, shinier. Okay, more manageable, understood, understood. Oh, okay, so you don't just stick to bar, you went back and forth with your regular diet, I understand. So, it's a treat, I suppose, every now and again for you in particular. Right, all right then. Well, thank you, Sophie. Pleasure. Next stop, baseball fans demonstrate the great circle of life in the most adorable way. Oh, that's so adorable. At the Seattle Mariners game, Parents were able to bring their dogs and lift them for the Simba Cam. The teens bark in the park event in Washington paid tribute to the famous Lion King scene. They had a chance to be featured on the Jumbotron. Videos of the cute display went viral. Users made comments such as, this is much better than the Kiss Cam, and that they simply couldn't handle the cuteness. Others were concerned about where all the pups would relieve themselves. <laughs> Lioness Cub Nala joins us from Tanzania in Africa. She just so happens to have the same name as the woman of interest of Simba in The Lion King. Nala, what's your take on this display of raised dogs at the stadium? Oh, yes. Of course, yes, you're in an entirely different continent. So most of this does not affect you or concern you. Oh, but you do appreciate the symbolism, the tribute. Yes, yes, it was a tribute to um, your species. <laughs> uh-huh, right. Oh, no, no, I understand. Your life is particularly different and more difficult, so they, okay, yes, the pops wouldn't understand, no. Yes, you're right. 
they are fed by their parents, whereas you have to wait for your parents to forge for you. Got it. Yeah. Oh, and then you have to learn how to do it for yourself. Understood. Yes, yes, yes. Quite a difficult life, Nala. Mm -hmm. But you look great. Nice seeing you again, Nala. That's a wrap for us this morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are on the globe. I'm Megan Aplaw. Be sure to sniff out the latest headlines you need to know with fur news from the Podemic Network, brought to you by The Motley Crew. <laughs> Okay, she was really chatty. Really chatty. I don't know why I couldn't have just sung like the song of life or something like that. It's like that, that TikTok. Show me something that lives rent free in your home. <laughs> this microphone <laughs> lives rent free. She lives in a reserve or something. I don't believe it. It's like that difficult, please. Please. Bet you she's got it made. She's just trying to make herself seem like a victim, that Nala. I'm doing minimalism today. I don't have jewellery, nothing. This is the Dadaism period, all right? I'm a Dadaist. I know her. I've met her before. I know her. Yeah, I know she's young, but in her short life, we've encountered one another. She's a bit bitter, that one. <laughs>